Hello my marvellous sausages, we've had Season of the Haunted drop and there's so much new stuff in it, it's absolutely unbelievable. So this reset special is going to be about all the little bits of cool stuff that I found that you might not know about. So let's get on with it and first of all let's have a look at the new ships and ghostlies we've got this season. Right so first of all let's pile in with the ghostlies and uh, we've got the phantasmal shell here. This is a reward from the uh, season pass level 50 and that is very sexy isn't it? Yes. We do like that. Very fiery and dragony, and that's bloody great. We love that one. The Eidolon shell, uh, that's a triumph reward, I believe. And it looks very nice, very green, open-ended at the back. Yes, that's pretty cool. Uh, we've got the souped-up shell. I love this. Look at that. That is excellent. It's like a revving little supercharger engine. And I love the little wires as well. That's great. Love that. <laughs> love that one. Excellent. The uh, battle-worn shell, that's good. Let's have a look at that too. Glitchy ghost eye, which we all love. And yes, smashed in and lovely looking. Yes, that's cool. Uh, the Egregory shell. Let's have a look at that. Ooh, that's nice and wavy. It's like a, isn't it a strange sort of texture? It's almost like a carpety, felty looking thing. There we are. That's excellent. Uh, Hearthfire shell. We've got a, I think we've got a, a sparrow and a ship to go with this. Cool, that's nice. It's a homage to Solar 3.0 and Blue. Bloody lovely it is too. Uh, we've got the convertible shell here. This is from another group of similar looking things. A ship and a sparrow and it's great. I really like that. 50s caddy kids. It's gorgeous. Uh, I Which is a little ship. <laughs> And he's got a captain's hat on. I wish I had a little steering wheel as well. That would have been perfect. I love that. That's excellent. There's the comedy ghost and the Horus shell as well. The Horus shell. Not a Horus shell. Lovely. That's very nice, isn't it? Very eagerly and uh, Egyptian and beautiful. Right then, let's get in and have a look at the ships. So we've got this one here, the Timbal Lucide. This is a season of the Haunted Triumph as a, as a source to get this. And it's a strange looking thing, isn't it? It reminds me of two stumpy fish fingers. I don't know why. There we go. There it is. The, it takes shaders quite well, too. That's not bad, actually. Not bad at all. I quite like that one. Uh, the retrofitted roadster. This is an Eververse. This goes with the ghost. <laughs> it looks like something out of wacky races. It's completely brilliant. Yes, I like that. Oh, I love the flames. Don't they go well? Yes, excellent. That's good. Uh, what do we have next? The Swift Persistence. Uh, another Eververse ship here, so we're going to have to wait for this to pop up. Uh, and it's a buggered one from Season of Opulence. But look at it. Isn't it very attractive? Yes, I like that. That's good. Uh, what else do we have here? Okay, the Exosporangion. Exosporangion. Uh, Eververse again. Uh, let's have a look at that. Now this... It looks like a block of flats, and uh, it's a Destiny 1 ship, isn't it, really? Or some a very early Destiny 2 ship. Uh, but it's been egregory to, to buggery. So I like that one. Yeah, that's good. Uh, Wings of the Firebird. We've seen the partner one of this. Oh, that is nice, isn't it? I mean, that is lovely. Does it stay the same? The fire will always stay the same there. But we do have pulsing lights. No, we don't. Uh, but it's nice. That's good. If you can get that going kind of all jet black. Ooh, look at that. Ooh, it look, ooh that looks nice too. Well worth fiddling around with that, baby. I like that. And uh, the source of that was Eververse again. Uh, this is Eververse, the Shining Cabriolet. So that's going to go with the Ghost, which looks like uh, a Chevrolet. Excellent. Yes, very nice indeed. We like that one. It's good. It looks nice. Ooh, shiny. Yeah, there we go. That's cool for Shining Cabriolet. Mandate of Strength. This is from the new dungeon. Dungeon Duality, which is relaunching. Re Launching on Friday. Let's have a look at this. Oh, it's quite a nice little number, actually, isn't it? Yes. Probably takes shaders quite well. It's quite a cool looking ship, that. Oh, look, that's the uh, smudge pot bruise. Yes, there we go. There's that there. And finally, ships wise this season, the Hushed Syrinx. Hello, Hushed Syrinx. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. Look at that. That is very, very nice. Indeed. That is nice indeed. It takes pretty much anything really. Oh, look at the Seven Sisters on that. That's lovely. Excellent. Right then, Sparrows. Let's have a look at Sparrows. What have we got here? Uh, this is a Season of the Haunted is the source of this. The Trower Marsh. Let's have a look at this baby. Oh, so it's in the same family as the ship there. It looks, you know, 
All right, I'm not too keen on this design, to be honest. Uh, it's all right, though. It might grow on me. We'll see if I get one. So there we go. There's that. Oh, no, we didn't check to see what the booster looked like, did we? Booster engage. Oh, it's a nice green booster. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. The booster's nice. Pale Steed. This is from the Season Pass. Is that right? Season Pass? Yes, yeah, Season Pass reward. And this is a beauty. I love this. I mean, look at it. That is great. Yeah. Uh, does the skull change color? Go on, change color. Does it change color? No, it's staying. But there we are. Well, that's not too bad. The skull will always change and stay the same. That is nice. I bet that takes some shaders really well. It looks bonkers. That's a good one. The Pale Steed. I like that. Hot Rod Havoc. Eververse again. So this is the Hot Rod one. That's great. That is great. Ooh, that's a nice one. That's a nice one, Governors. We like that as well. The War-Torn Peregrine. Let's have a... So this is the same family as the ships. It's an old, old sparrow look. And it looks like it's got gold rammed in it. Opulent gold. Good. I like that. Very nice. Core Deception. Core Deception. <laughs> So we got strapped on egregoriness on that as well. Bloody love it. That's good. Uh, what else? We have the kin kindred kindled wanderer. That is very nice. That so that goes with the other flamey ones then. That goes with the other flamey looking ships. So what you want is something dark. Ooh, what was that then? Ooh, it's got a nice tracing look. Ooh, I quite like that. That's got a nice tracing of stuff. Do you see what I mean? The filigree is the word we're after. Uh, let's see what this does. Nout. Gilded smoke. Yeah, it's nice looking, that. Nice looking. Something like that. Oh, and it increases the flames in the front there, look, when it, when it pushes that out. Good. We like that. Where are we now? Open Sky Taurus. This is the Chevy one. Oh, they're nice too. Very good. Nice uh, light blue uh, plasma jets on that, baby. Seafoam Glide. Oh, that's nice. It's an hydrofoil again, so it looks like it should be on a ship. Good. Some nice unique designs. And finally, here we go. That's a sparrow to go with the super sexy ones, the Falcon's Chase. Not Falcon Crest, Falcon's Chase. Uh, that's amazing as well. Although, oddly enough, I think the ship looks best, don't you? So let's have a quick look at the Eververse here. First of all, we've got the collimated light universal ornaments. So this is for the Warlock, you can see. You're 1,500 for the silver, but bloody hell, that's nice, isn't it? Yes. Very flamey. Look at the soles of his shoes. <laughs> that's really cool. The Titan set is equally beautiful. Look at that helmet. Ooh, uh, it looks great. And there's the flaming hammer. And uh, look, they've got glowing souls as well. That's very nice. And let's have a quick look at the hunter here with the flame coming out of the top of their head and their glowy cross knives. <laughs> look at the glowing uh, hand cannon we've got. Oh, it's great looking this season. This is going to be well worth the purchase, I reckon. Look at those souls. We've got a new multiplayer remote called First Gig. So there we go. We can all play in a lovely band now, can't we? <laughs> the drummer. And we've got the different classes on the front there as well. <laughs> That's... Oh, it makes a noise! Listen to it! <laughs> That's really funny. There we go. That's good. We quite like that. And we've got the Solar Snap, which is a Warlock finisher, which comes from his melee from Solar 3.0. Let's see that baby again, and... Excellent! Yes, we love that. The Hydrofoil Shell. There we go. That's here as well. With his cute little hat and all. That's silver. 600 silver. Let's have a little look at uh, what we've got here. I just bought this recently because I recorded this and forgot to press the bloody start button. So I'm doing it again. Quite a nice shade of this Tyrion Abyss, but oddly it turns things purple. Well, maybe that's got something to do because can't, I can't see any purpley stuff on there. But there we go. That's that. So it's well worth picking up. Anything of interest from the new season here? Well, we've got a Chrome projection. We've got a dropped call. That's quite a nice little emote if you haven't got it. That's from uh, last season. Drop it in the toilet. That's quite good. And we've got the bright cycle shell as well. Yes, that's very nice indeed. Takes the shaders quite well, particularly the new uh, photo finish if you got it. Look, nice pulse on that one. And if we have a look here at the uh, new section for the seasonal stuff, this is of interest. You can buy 10 season ranks straight away with a thousand silver if you're that way inclined. So that'll get you 10 ranks up on your uh, season pass. 
which is lovely and there we go we can see your bundles of all the stuff we've just looked at there really uh, in the uh, other thing I want to show you though is this here called loyal companion which is beautiful look at that I love it isn't that really nice this is a charity emote as well and it's 1000 silver oh I love it that's lovely bright dust offerings we've got uh, we've got the sour taste emote which is really funny knock some books off there you go that's great uh, we've got a smelly cheese one this is from last season as well where he smells the cheese and then chucks it on the floor because it makes him puke in his mask get lost that's good yes quite a nice ghost shell this a simulation shell from season of dawn quite rare too looks cool eh that's well worth it that's 2850 though bloody hell out of dodge uh, sparrow which is quite nice too uh we've got the flying fortress from season of arrivals which is quite a bonkers looking ship actually if you haven't got that that's probably well worth picking up we've got an ornament for the lord of wolves yes nice shotgun ornament there very good indeed uh we've got aeronautist of china projection there which is okay uh, not not going to replace my old Indiana Jones fedora. We've got a Warsat arrival. Uh, hello, Warsat arrival. That's well cool. Uh, we've got an AIRSPN reboot. There we go. That's not too bad. We've got Fallen Rival. We've seen these ones loads. Just going to quickly go through these. Oh, and let's have a look at the uh, shaders. Time honored shader. Not too bad there. Kind of scritchy scratchy gold from last season. Gloam strife. Not too keen on this one myself. A bit bland. There we are. Uh, iridescent coral. Uh, this one works quite well you can see all my sea cat filaments there look it's making them all a bit shiny and twinkly because of the small lineage and deep sea jaunt too which actually goes quite well on a lot of things right here's something else i want to show you we've got three new exotics only one each per class for this season which is unusual you usually have two but there we go let's have a look we've got the rain of fire leg armor here and uh, now this is all down to do with uh shooting from the air soaring fusilier is the exotic perk air dodge reloads all of your weapons and improves the airborne effectiveness of fusion rifles and linear fusion rifles final blows of these weapons make you radiant so you can do an air dodge with these babies or if you do an air dodge but what's interesting look you can see here this is now it shows you what your stats are so my mobility is 37 36 recovery 61 but then i can change it look and it'll show me the stats of the actual piece of armor i'm looking at in this case it's, it's crap because it's only 46 but you don't know what i mean so you can see here the recovery is plus 10 discipline is plus 12 so it's quite nice you don't have to come out to another screen and then come back in you can just see what your stats are at a glance lovely right let's have a look at the hunter or uh, not ornament the hunter's new uh, exotic there's only one here look yep it's called caliban's hand uh which is quite nice caliban yes uh, okay your proximity knife scorches targets it damages with its explosion or ignites targets on a direct hit so scorching and igniting and radiance are all the new buffs or debuffs scorch means that uh, you set something on fire and the more it gets scorched then it finally ignites which means it explodes so that's a pretty cool exotic there but after throwing a proximity a knife you gain increased melee regeneration until the knife explodes so you can chuck a knife and that'll increase the melee and then explode it that's nice so there we go that's for the hunters and then the titans is a bonkers looking one look at this it's another pair of arms so it's arms for titans arms for hunters legs for warlocks it's called second chance <laughs> look at it it's brilliant looking uh getting the second charge of your shield throw melee which becomes a shield piercing and it stuns barrier champions it's brilliant what i love the look of is that it probably look it's still you've got a satellite dish on one arm and you've got a shield on the other it's amazing it's like oscar the grouch is home for his satellite dish and his bin lid yes that's grand now here we have solar 3.0 about 28 million videos here on what we've got so we're not going to really look at much here but what i will tell you is that if you come to see ikora here in the uh, bazaar in the tower after you've had a good old look at solar 3.0 loads more videos to come on that no doubt but come and see her because remember last time we bought the void stuff from her well look you can buy the solar stuff from her and you'll see that some aspects and fragments you haven't got yet and also some grenades you haven't got yet so look we can come to the grenades and you can purchase the various grenades you haven't got 3000 glimmer for the healing grenades but what you can do is just buy them all in one go here 
Not that we get the fusion grenade, incendiary grenade, because all the grenades are now shared between all classes. They're not just between one class. And we'll also go in here to the fragments and we'll pick up the fragments that we haven't got. We haven't got the ember of searing. I wanted that one. And this is the one I'm really looking for, the ember of eruption as well, which is great. So once you've got all those there, look, we've got all the ticks in. We then just go. Thank you very much, Sister, telling you to go and meditate. So we bugger off out of here and go and meditate at the round thingy majiggy and here we go there's all our new stuff make sure you do that to get all your new doodas not that expensive and then you've got a full complement of solar 3.0 buildingage yes isn't that great bloody excellent it's well worth coming to have a look at banshee as well first of all i did mention you get your trespasser sidearm which is from the first track of the uh, new season pass there it is look there so don't forget to pick that up and anything else always have some of this and some of this yes so don't forget to pick that up there but that trespasser also has a catalyst mission which you can pick up from banshee as well so as well we're coming to see him but pop in and have a look because look he's got the telesto he's trying to fix it bless him which is hilarious <laughs> That's excellent, yeah, so I like that. That's brilliant. Nice little touch, that. Now, weapons-wise, because this is turning into such a long video, I'm not going to go through every single one. Suffice to say, there's nothing much of interest this week. There's nothing above a B. The only one that we've got a B for is the Typhon GL5. And uh, also the, uh, what's the other one? It's the Syncopation as well. Uh, that's a B. But I'm coming here because we've got a new weapon, the Lun Lunulata 4B, which is a stasis bow. Now, this one's got headstone on it, which is excellent and range finder fiberglass arrow shaft helical felching polymer string and uh, elastic string as well so that's well worth picking up i've already dropped a couple of these later earlier on and they're great to use with headstone that's fantastic and range finder so i'd recommend you pick that one up and if you do come to sanctuary or anywhere else on the moon look the sky box has changed we've got the yawning huge leviathan sitting there looking at us which is excellent bloody love it oh i love this kind of stuff it's great so there we go a bit of a packed reset special there i didn't cover absolutely everything but we've got all season to really look at all this new stuff in depth and don't forget if you did enjoy the vid give me a like and a subscribe that would be brilliant and i've also got a live streaming channel as well where i actually streamed the season launch live which was brilliant fun earlier on tonight i'll be doing destiny streams every week as well so if you want to pop over there and join then uh, that would be utter fantastic too. Thank you so much for watching and I shall speak to you all again very soon. Sausage out.